Hi, John Morgan here with Bob's Marketing Greenhouses. And today, as you can see, I'm not in the greenhouse and I'm not in my kitchen. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of science. That's why I have my lab coat on and of course, importantly, my safety glasses. But we're going to be doing an experiment that you can do at home. Um, we're going to be talking about what makes up soil. So I have a sample of soil here straight from my garden. So what makes up a healthy soil? And healthy soil, it's important because, you know, healthy soil leads to healthy vegetables. Well, soil itself is a mixture of inorganic material and organic material. So the inorganic material are all things that are broken down from rock, like sand, silt, and clay. And the organic material is things like, well, this root here that once belonged to a plant. Um, it's dead organic material, dead plants, basically. What we're going to be doing today is actually testing to find out how much sand, silt, and clay is in this soil. Healthy soil has about 20% clay, 40% silt, and 40% sand. Uh, fortunately, this came out of my garden, so it's probably going to mostly be clay. Um, how we're going to do this is with good old household ingredients or household tools. We've got our soil sample. You also need a mason jar and a lid and a ring, some water, and last but not least, some liquid soap. get started, we're going to add our soil to our jar. Now we don't need a lot of soil in the jar, we only need to fill it up part way because we're going to be mixing it. So I'm just going to start adding soil here and making a mess too. Which that's the great thing about gardening, even doing something like this. You gotta get your hands dirty. It's nice and messy. All right, so there we've got a nice soil sample. Our next step is to add the water. So we only wanna fill it up about three quarters of the way full. Um, again, we're going to be shaking the jar to mix it, so we need to add a little bit of room there for things to slosh around to get broken up. So right about this much water ought to do it. And now comes the important step, or well, it really helps. A little bit of soap. And what this touch of soap's going to do is it's going to help break up the soil and make it easier to mix. So I'm going to let this set for a little while so the water can kind of work its way in and start to break it up. All right, now that we've let this set, it's time to mix. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Woo! Shake the body line! 
Yeah! Oh. Uh. Okay, so now we're just going to let it set and wait for it to settle out. And what will happen is the heaviest particles, the sand, will sink to the bottom. Then the silt will settle out next. And since the clay is lightest, it will settle out on top. That way we'll be able to see what we've got. For this, another great information, visit us online at bobsmarket.com.